guys, it's Paige Hemis from Home and Family on Hallmark Channel, and I'm here with my little kitty. Eros, I'm going to be making a dream catcher. Do you care? So, the DIY for today is going to be dream catchers. So I know a lot of people are having maybe some bad dreams, some nightmares, some anxiety, so I'm gonna give you a way to catch those bad dreams and get rid of them. Put it somewhere in your room where it'll get the morning light, and all bad dreams and good dreams will go into that dream catcher. Bad dreams get caught. Good dreams go all the way down to feathers on the end to the sleeper. That is the folklore behind it. It's actually learned from my great grandma and grandpa. This is Benjamin and Clara. He passed away before I was born, but their stories live on because he was Native American. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm hoping you have the stuff around your house. If not, uh, you can go Order it online, don't go outside. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is either a wire hanger or a embroidery hoop, other materials. Um, I just kind of ransacked my little craft room and I, I got some yarn, wooden balls, um, little beads. I've also got really pretty gold and pink and brown beads. And then all of this stuff was really stuff I had sitting around. Um, anything that kind of looks ethereal or pretty and heavenly. And then I'll come over here and these are the key ingredients when making a dream catcher. You wanna make sure that you put feathers because feathers is the only way that the good dreams get into the dreamers. Okay, if you are gonna do, um, if you're gonna use a hanger, it's really hard to get a circle out of these. So I would say cut it with a wire cutter and then shape it towards a crescent moon. And I'll show you that one. Um, look how cool that is. It's a little crescent moon, and I'm gonna show you how to do the webbing inside. Okay, so I'm taking leather lace here. You could take string, you could take yarn, you could take whatever you want. First thing we wanna do is tie it off at the top. Okay, then we're gonna pull this aside, and whatever this space is, you wanna make sure that it's equal. So measure it with whatever you have. Right now, I have a finger. So I'm gonna measure it about a pinky's length. And then all you do is wrap it underneath, but you wanna wrap it through itself and it can get loose while you're doing it but at the end you want to make sure that you get it tight. I'm going to do that all the way around my hoop. Now to start the second layer of the loop you want to make sure that you go in the middle of each little section. So you would think this is the top. No. We're going to turn it over. That's going to be our bottom because we're going to be able to hide all this when we add our little legs. You can keep going all the way around and lace this all the way till it's tight, or you can hang something fun off, which I love, this little flower. And for the half moon one I did, I'm gonna hang a star. So that will be hung in the middle of our crescent moon. You can see that there. Okay, so once you have all of that done, it is time to start making your legs. So it'll be the whole bottom part of this. So I think I'm gonna start with the yarn. I'm gonna start there and there. Figure out about how long. Let's cut that off of lace. So then I'm going to add another ribbon, cut it that long, and I'm going to take both of these together and wrap them around to create a knot. So you can tell there I have three little legs started. I'm going to lay that down. Now keep doing this with all your ribbon, all your fabric, even cut up like a baby blanket or jeans and use that too. So everything you have, just hang it off here and then we'll come back to add the feathers. All right, so as you can see, I finished it all the way over. I added one of those on the top with the leather lace, so the suede lace. Make sure that's tight. Now, you wanna add the feathers. This is the important part. So at the very end, you wanna take your feathers, hold the tails of the feather up, and then you take ribbon, put it through, then follow with a bead, but they will stay on their own. You don't need to glue them or anything. And then just take the top off, just snip the top off and it will hang below. Then next thing to do is hang it above the bed. Look how pretty that looks. All right, so whether you did the full dream catcher or the crescent moon and stars, I would like to wish you very, very sweet dreams. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Till I see you guys next time.